All right, guys, what is going on? Dan with Rim right here. Hey, we've got this BDS lift kit here, all in a textured black, except for those two pieces for some reason are gloss, and all the U bolts are gloss. But we are going to show you our powder coating process for this lift, including what we do with the threaded parts on the bolts and the steering, and how we get it into powder. The powder just showed up. This has been sitting in my shop for about two weeks now, so we're ready to get going. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook wires up to all this stuff, some uh, something to pull it out of the dip tank. We're gonna go strip all these parts right now, and then we will start sandblasting, get them into their color, and then we're going to apply the clear coat. So let's get to it. So here's a few more parts that just came out of the stripper. As you can tell, they kind of have this, I don't know, grayish, dull looking tone to them. That's probably from the powder coater originally, who probably used a phosphate wash. We're gonna blast everything like normal. So here's a bunch of the lift kit already blasted and ready to go. We taped off the threads on the u-bolts to preserve that original finish which allows the bolt to still go on without leaving raw metal and we'll tape those back off in high temp tape when we go to powder coat them and then we had a couple bigger parts that we weren't able to do that with but we're hoping our tape will hold up in our stripping solution so we've got it taped off here where the threads are we've got to get this ball joint out still here's one we tried to blast but it just took too long, so we're gonna put it in the stripper. So once we get all that done, we'll start out gassing and then get into the color. All right, our first cart ready to go in and out gas. Again, this is steel, so you don't necessarily have to out gas it. I like to just to get any greases, oils that we did not catch off. Some people wash them down with a degreaser, but um, we find that usually when you wipe those dry, it ends up leaving, you know, lint and stuff that ruins your paint job. The other thing I do want to mention when you're doing a lift kit or any other thing that involves a lot of parts is to match the thickness of the metal. 
so that when you do the powder, it all applies the same and it cures the same, especially when you're doing a clear coat, this will have a clear on it. And this metal is gonna take longer than those little U-bolts sitting on the rack over there, but it's not gonna take as long as say those springs. So we gotta run about three different size batches through the oven because if you try and cook this with a clear coat for the same time you cook those springs, these are gonna burn and you're gonna turn the clear coat brown, yellow, whatever. So be careful when you're organizing your parts for powder. So we're gonna get these in the oven and then get it into color. All right guys, we got the parts out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick blow off to get any dust or debris off and then we're gonna get them into the color of choice which is Speedway Gray from Prismatic Powders. Once they're in that gray, every single part we've got going here, we will then come back and hit them with a clear coat just for a little more gloss, a little more UV protection even though they're under the vehicle. Um, just what the owner wants, so let's get started. Alright guys, just a quick little tip here with powder coating. Whenever you're doing a welded area, really focus on that area when you're checking for light spots. The powder doesn't attract as well to welds. So you want to make sure, if you saw at the end of that last clip, I was going back and doing little touch-ups in the corners and stuff because it just wasn't getting the coverage it needed. So other than that, these are coming out really good. We're going to keep on moving along. Very, very 
tight line that you got to follow. You got to check your temperatures really well. Um, in our oven, it cooks a little bit cooler at the bottom than it does at the top, so we're going to be paying a lot of attention to the top. We're going to knock our temperature down a little bit, probably 390, and just let it cook for about 12 minutes once we hit 390 up here. Hopefully, we'll be around 385, 388, something warm down there to get it fully cured, um, and we'll do the best we can, so let's get going. I have not figured out my new game of gun yet and I am having some back ionization issues it took me probably a year to get my KCI gun where I needed it to be when I shot clear and this gun's giving me fits and it's supposed to be pretty easy to tune so I don't know we've got The amps as low as possible, which is what they recommend. You can do this setting here, which ups your cloud. Whereas I'm down to 35 and it's pushing 2.8 there. Um, whereas that's 40 and it's pushing 3.1 with zero KV. So uh, I don't know, I've got to keep playing with it. But what we're gonna do to fix this is we're gonna put it in the oven like it is. We're just gonna let it gel out just a little bit. Um, not really bake or anything. We'll bring it back out. And we'll do a dusting over it and that should take care of it It's worked in the past. So that's our next step We're gonna get that in the oven and take care of the back ionization issue and then we'll hit it again real quick just to Make sure we don't have any of those dots appearing in our clear Cart number one, fully done with clear coat. All of our little imperfections appear to have been solved. Came out like glass. So I'm pretty happy with this. We've got another cart in the oven. We've still got all of those parts to do. Let's keep rolling.
here is our final product. This BDS lift kit is completely done now. And I think the owner will be thrilled. We were able to save the threads here with the original coating, which should allow the nuts to go on nicely and provide corrosion protection versus bare metal. Had we powder coated it, it would have been too thick. So we didn't want to do that. The clear came out like glass. A bit of orange pill here and there, but not too bad. These parts the owner was very particular about because obviously they hang down and you can see them. Those are like glass. The springs came out amazing and nice and smooth. I think he's going to be pretty happy with this. So again, I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. It was probably one of the longer ones I had, but I think it was well worth the wait. If you got anything out of it, enjoyed it, give us that big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.